Hi friends, busy night in Starry Hilders. Oh, and Mr. Hilder, there he is, <laughs> off grid kitchen. We thought we'd grab the camera real quick because people are always asking about what we eat and uh, just some of the things that we do in the off grid kitchen here. And I and and tonight actually we have the Wonder Mill uh, out, and Mr. Hilder is frying up some of the chickens that we raise, homegrown chicken. And I'm making a very nice fruit dessert. And what are we doing? We are grinding our own flour. Now, white flour, we don't... We, white flour equals white death. Yeah, white flour, white death. <laughs> Uh, he did make a pumpkin pie with white flour, but that is very rare, uh, and it's so little, he used it in the crust. But actually, uh, somebody mentioned, why don't you grind your own flour? We do grind our own flour. So tonight, we're showing you what we're doing here and giving you some ideas. A, a Wonder Mill is, it grinds just about anything. So we do uh, rolled oats, which we have. We buy that in bulk. We buy almost everything in bulk here. Uh, rolled oats, we grind rice, you can grind your own rice flour, uh, almonds, almond flour, coconut, coconut flour, and you can save so much money because it's all about frugal living here on our homestead. So look, and even Mr. Hilder's doing dishes tonight. So we have everything out here tonight, but uh, real quickly when Mr. Hilder's frying up his chicken over there, I'm going to show you the dessert that I'm making. This is awesome. I've got fresh raspberries, fresh blueberries, I've got peaches, and I'm using my home canned butter, a little bit of the oat flour that we just ground up, and I even have some canned raspberries. But if, if this looks beautiful to you, friends, all it is is you take your fresh fruit and you take a half a cup of oat flour and a half a cup, I use raw sugar, brown sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon, and you put your fruit you roll your fruit in it and then this is a crumble topping all this is is a crisp I have rolled oats I have oat flour in here a little bit of raw again brown sugar and then my cold home canned butter and this is going to go into the oven and it's going to make a beautiful crisp this is so easy and so healthy all right and Mr. Hilder yeah. It's going to operate the I Wonder this, Mill. I eat this stuff by the 50-pound bag. Roll oats. So we've got it on hand. And then, you know, I do a lot. I, I'm a big fried person. And I've gone to everything. This is just me talking. No more olive oil. Oh, yeah. Because it's, th every time I read a thing, it's like, oh, some processing chemicals, fake. Yeah. It's, it's too much to, to try to figure it out. It's hard to get good. And, pure olive oil and, and olive oil is really not meant to be cooked at like a higher heat right. type thing so I'm gone to all coconut oil I put this in my oatmeal I put this in my coffee yep. I fry with it and the cast iron um, yeah. it tastes awesome it lasts forever you can buy it you know we've got five gallon pails of it yep. too lasts forever mm -hmm. and so to simplify the process I've gone to all using coconut no more no more yeah. olive oil and, and we've used olive oil on rare occasion but our bulk has always been right. coconut oil right. so friends get on the coconut bandwagon yeah that should be the only oil that you have and you can the great thing about um he just said coconut oil it can store in the long term in yeah. your pantry forever yeah. forever i getting back to the point i fry a lot of stuff so i fry my venison uh, elk um chicken. my fish chicken everything and i like to dip in something this this i'm not but um so you, it's real easy. Grab, throw that stuff in there. It works better if you feed it nice and slow instead of dumping it in like that. If you just trickle it in there, and everyone's like, you grind it by hand. I've, I've, we've got one of those grinders too. Yeah. Junior mill. We we do have a junior mill. Just in case. For backup. SHTF situation. But as long as we have electricity. Oh, this this makes life so simple right here. Yeah. I mean, this is like, um, you gotta have it. So I instantly made some fresh oat flour. Oat flour, good and healthy. Look at. I'm gonna show you, Francis. Look, Look at, at that. This. Isn't that beautiful? 
And this this is like an on-demand flour. Remember, flour has to be stored either in the freezer, which you know we don't really advocate the freezer thing. Uh, it can be stored in the refrigerator, but it does have a shelf life. So the, you you grind what you use basically. And we have usually on hand a mason jar I left like have over. A good mason jar mm -hmm. because. Uh, um, throughout the week I'll use, oh not a whole lot, but I'll use a couple cups maybe. I made a little bit too much here because I'm in demonstration. Yeah, he's in demonstration. So, he's in demonstration. But remember, this, don't store it on your shelf unless you use it right away. At least put it in the refrigerator. Look but at look that. at, he's multitasking. Look at that. Man, isn't this looking like some delicious awesomeness right here? And those are the Cornish cross hens that we raised. Beer healthy. Excellent, excellent meat, all organic, Mr. Hilder meal. And so, from the from the produce, I'm gonna run into the pantry real quick, and I'm gonna grab a oh yeah a jar of uh, peppers, right? Peppers, and I'm gonna make a real simple fajita tonight. I got the seasoned up here real nice. I like lemon peppers, my main one of my main. Seasoning been at some place. Oh. And I just seen this product. We've is, had this for a long time. It's non irradiated, so I thought, well, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Don't want no irrad radiation no. on this homestead. Sprinkle a little of that on there. Wow. And we love cast iron cooking. We we have been doing this, well, Mr. Hilder's been doing it all his life. And then when I got married to Mr. Hilder, which is 25 plus years ago, sold on cast iron cooking. Lodge pole. That's it's lodge yeah. pole, right? What is it? Is it no? It's lodge, lodge cast iron. But Mr. Hilder had to improvise. We the handle broke off. So that is tried and true, Mr. Hilder. Vice grip. So Mr. Hilder is going in the pantry. I like it when he goes in the pantry. Um, I know where everything is, and See, he's this still. Is the, this is my gro This is my kind of grocery store right here. <laughs> this is the bachelor setup. <laughs> but he's married, so that doesn't really no. work. Well, because I don't ever go to the, the real grocery store. No. And so Not I walk in here and I look around and I'm like, oh, there's the, is that what I'm looking for? I wanted some more red ones. Oh, well, yeah. we've got... and, and you, just look in there and you can see. Yeah. So I, this is the flavor I want tonight, so I okay. grab this one. Yep. And yeah, I'm not going to have no beans tonight. Uh, I'm just going to go with this route here. Okay. Looks good. Ah, maybe I should put some mushrooms in there. These oh, things, we have morels. These morels, I've been cooking with these morels, and I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm glad we picked as many yeah. as because they are complete. We, we picked a lot of morels last year, and we have actually have a five-gallon pail and um, some other, yeah, lots of lots of dehydrated morels. But, Love uh, dehydrating mushrooms. Oh, my, look at he's going to town now. This is my main... <laughs> Still, right yeah, still cut oat groats, grout, groats, grouts. What's it called? Stone ground. Steel cut oat. Steel cut. Stuff's off. I eat this by the. I, this is just groats. my main meal right here. Gro but how do you? It's say got that? protein in it, and I think there's like 360 calories per cup. So I'll have. Groats. So you have that for like uh, breakfast. And look at that's pretty close. Yeah. Eugene, Oregon. And then uh, it's got protein, some good calories. Yep. Um, it's just healthy. And we start, because Mr. Hiller uses this right away, we don't repackage this. No. Uh, we don't have to. Well, I mean, when I open it, then generally well, I'll, once put you it, open uh, it. Then I'll put it, uh, put in some five gallon pails. But I'm eating it at a pretty rapid rate. Yeah. Um, He's a rapid rate eater of so, steel cut oats. No meat germ. I'm going to refresh my memory what's <laughs> going on in here. He loves coming in here. It's like a candy store. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Lots of good stuff. Okay. There is where the oat flour goes. See, I use my, my mason jars. And since it is still cool out, I am still storing some of my foods out here. We'll put that right on the shelf there. And I want to show you, friends, I made a fruit pizza. Oh, I got to get the video up for the fruit pizza. This fruit pizza is so awesome and the crust is made out of uh, oh, dates and raisins a little bit of coconut oil and ground raw nuts oh, beautiful and look at that fresh fresh fruit and then I just put a little bit of my homemade jam it's good it's good all right we'll, we'll go inside and we'll wrap it up 
Ooh, Mr. Hilder. Now he's doing, ooh, look at that. That really looks good. Morels, onions, peppers in the garden. And then had to buy some veggies from the store. Some oh, asparagus. yeah, this is off season. But they're still fresh. And Mr. Hilder's going to do a uh, fajita. And, you know, I just talked to somebody at work that, that told me that she makes, get this, this is really interesting. She buys psyllium. And she makes her own fajita and bread-like products out of psyllium, which is like a bread, like a tortilla. Uh, pretty cool, because we're not we're not bread people really at all. I'm uh -huh. kind of I'm bread-free, and and this is if we do anything, it is one tortilla. That's it. And cut back on the tortillas. It's yeah. Go seasonal. Um, during the fall more, I like the tortilla stuff because it needs a little extra fat for, yeah. you know, in the woods a lot and gold, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but anyhow. But we love tortilla wraps. And you can do lettuce wraps. You can do lettuce. I do I do lettuce with my, my egg salad. I make a really good egg salad uh, from my fresh eggs, from my chickens. So Mr. Hilder is doing his chicken fajita tonight with all his... Like nice chicken wow. all seasoned up. You're really going to town here. And the other night, uh, I made, Starry made my famous egg rolls. And these were with fresh cabbage and fresh carrots and, oh, fresh garlic, onion. And then I also, because Mr. Hilda likes the meat, I took my canned chicken and I sauteed it in white wine, garlic, and onion. And I rolled that into his egg rolls. So many creative ideas, but look, oh, look at that. That's a healthy meal. Let's let that brown up a little bit and heat up. And that's it. And, uh, and then he has dessert for tonight. Man, I'm... I'm getting hungry, too. I'm getting hungry now, man. What's Starry eating? <laughs> Probably left leftovers, uh, egg rolls, but that's okay. And I'm going to have dessert tonight, too. I'm going to have fruit pizza and fruit crisp. I'm just oh. going to eat all dessert tonight. We Why got, not? you got to show people what... We did today that we burned so many calories. We were in the mountains hiking around. Oh, yeah. And so. I gotta follow, follow him. Oh, Mr. Hilder. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. this. So we were on our feet all day. In the, in the mountains, climbing, climbing the mountains. And this is, this is why we can eat really well. Besides our running and biking and all this stuff. Look at what Mr. Hilder found. These are yours. Yeah, those are mine. I found, I found some sheds too. Starry Helder, shed finder. Pretty cool. And these actually were hung up in a tree. The, he had rubbed the tree and there dropped the antlers. It was, it was incredible. And that's I a little I found one and I hung it up in a tree because I was going to come back through and I didn't want to carry it with me. Mm -hmm. I hung it up in the tree and I was going to look for the other one. You know, work my way down the mountain. I come back up, grab the one out of the tree and I happen to look over there. Near the, and there the other one was laying. Ah. Couldn't believe it. And then, who found that one? And then, uh, that's more what we're looking for. Yeah, but who found it? Well, I found it. No, Sprig found it. He didn't. The dog found it. He was, I seen him and I was looking up there <laughs> and he stopped and, and the dog's really not a shed dog. I wish he would be. He, he has to be alive and moving, otherwise he's not right. interested in it. But he was sniffing at and, it. And I seen him stop, and I was looking right up there, and I seen the, 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 the shininess of it. But it was so dark, it blended in real good. Yeah, but it was I seen, really dark. And so then I looked around for the other half. I need to go back. But there's that drainage, there's still a little bit of snow left in there. So we were up and down the mountain a lot today. And so that's why we're going to be eating this. That's why we can eat. And that's why Starry can eat all dessert. Not really. Bringing the big but I'll plate. eat a lot of dessert. Okay, friends, that is just a... Starry and Mr. Hilder in the off-grid kitchen with lots of stuff going on. I hope you enjoyed it. Kind of makes you want to get in the mood to cook a little something in a cast iron pan and, and make your own flour and you grow go. your own vegetables and raise your own chickens. And then like if you're in a restaurant, you supposed to like... It's pretty cool. Oh, he's, 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 he's dressing it up with the morels. You should like put that on top oh, of them. Isn't that... The, Pretty nice there, Mr. Hilder. All right. We'll see. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> All right. But God bless, friends.